everybody, it's Will here from Single Track Magazine, and I'm joined by Pete from Silverfish. Hiya. And uh, Pete's driven all the way up to the Grim North uh, to bring this brand new Yeti um, to show off to you guys. So uh, we've taken some photos of this and we'll have a story on the website on singletrackworld.com. Um, but we're going to use this opportunity. We're going to ask yep. Pete loads of prickly questions about this bike. And uh, first and foremost, though, um, tell us a bit, uh, tell the viewers, what sort of model is this? Uh, wheel size, travel, what kind of bike is this? Because it's brand new, right? This is brand new, brand mm -hmm. new, just out today. So uh, this is a new Yeti. SB100. Um, it's a 29 uh, inch wheel bike with 100 mil rear travel uh, based on a 120 mil fork on the front. And it's designed as a, it's a cross country slash trail bike. It really, with the kind of 120 on the front and the geometry, it, it's designed to kind of slightly blur the lines almost between cross country and trail. Right, so the, the, the previous, uh, I guess, short travel bike was the ASR, which hasn't been around for 12 months or so? Yeah, or? yeah, we had yeah. the ASR, and that, that finished, yeah, about 12 months ago or so. So, uh, okay. yeah, so this is, yeah, can't take over from really where that left off. Um, and this is a Switch Infinity in uh, equipped bike as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, because the ASR was a single pivot. It was, uh, yeah. Quite yeah. a lightweight kind of, more specifically cross country and that kind of racing and trail riding, that type thing? Exactly, it probably sat more on the kind of cross country side, whereas this is, is lean towards the, uh, the trail side. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, yeah, this is the way Yeti do cross country. So gotcha. uh, yeah, it's designed for you know, things like Downeyville, BC bike race, and you know, that kind of thing. A bike that you could do all day on, you, know, you can really nail the climbs, but also really have fun on the downs as well. Yeah, because we've got things like 760 wide bars here, we've got a dropper post, we've got a Minion DHF tire on the front. Um, you know, it doesn't look like a traditional race bike per exactly, se. Exactly, yeah, and, and that's really, um, Yeti wanted it to be um, how they kind of tested it um, and how they do cross country. So it's fitted with a 120 mil fork on the front. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a 67.8 degree head angle, a 50 mil stem, like you said, a 760 bar, um, Maxxis DHF tire in a 2.3 casing, a 180 rotor as well. Um, so it's really, you know, it's got the kind of gravity nods to it that really will help it excel on the downhills as well as, you know, well as the ups, so. Yeah, yeah. right, so like rad cross country, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of like, yeah, cross country extreme or something. <laughs> like. So, uh, yeah. We'll come yeah. up with a name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you've got a suggestion, actually, for uh, rad yeah. country or something <laughs> yeah. like that, please submit it in the comments section below. Um, so let's go on the, the suspension design. So as we are saying, the ASR single pivot, this is actually Switch Infinity, so it's sort of a, uh, an iteration of the existing Switch Infinity design? Exactly, yeah. So Switch Infinity is, um, has been is an evolution of Switch, which is what they had before. Mm -hmm. um, and the Switch Infinity is what you'll find on uh, all the, the Yeti range. Um, now for this one, um, they've actually uh, rotated it 90 degrees. Um, so whereas they usually have the, you know, the kind of tubes in front of each other yep, yep. Um, for the carriage and the pivot to, to um, move on, this one actually is rotated around 90 degrees and it's actually slightly shorter and a thinner diameter. Gotcha. Um, but what that means is they can sit it behind the seat tube. Just um, in here. Uh -huh. Yeah, just in, so it sits in just behind here, whereas the other ones kind of uh, sit here. Yep. So, so this means they can get a full bottle cage in, which uh -huh. they really wanted to do for this type of you know, bike and the way it's aimed at. Um, they know people want to be running a full bottle. So it means they can do that. Plus this bike um, can run a full dropper because it's got a long seat post and you can right. run a long dropper as well because you've got so much more seat post. Gotcha. Um, and it is slightly smaller and lighter as well. So, so you've got yeah. the, the neat little alloy link up the top yep, here. little link up the top. And, and then, then the two rails are actually hidden in here. Exactly, and you can't yeah. see because they're, they're covered by a little uh, it has a mud a, port, isn't it? Exactly, it has a little cover on the back there, but so they just, just in sit here. in just behind. So um, yeah, so, so it just keeps the mud out of there. Very neat, very, uh, very compact. Yeah. And also, as you said, allows for your bottle clearance in exactly, the main, main yeah. frame. Exactly, yeah. And the, the Switch Infinity on this one, I mean, on the, the other SB range, um, they're 74 millimeters in eye to eye, whereas this is 68 eye to eye. Right. And it's also, um, the diameter is slightly thinner. So this one features a, a 15.9 millimeter diameter, whereas on the other SB models in the range, it's 22.2. Right. So it's just a little bit more compact. A bit smaller, a um, bit lighter. A bit smaller, a yeah. bit lighter. Um, it shaves like a few hundred grams off it. Um, uh -huh. And it just, yeah, it's only really for this bike because of the, um, it's a hundred mil travel. Um, they can, you know, just fit it in that much. You won't see this kind of style coming onto the, the rest of the range because obviously they have more travel, more movement. So right, yeah. okay. So this is specifically optimized for this bike. Exactly. And um, 
And obviously the Switch Infinity is designed so um, it's the same as you know, like a virtual pivot or having a link, but it just means that they can really tune how the suspension feels. So in here you've got the carriage that travels on the two... Um, on the, the two rails. The two yeah, rails, yeah. yeah. And um, there's no dampening in that or anything like that. Um, so um, afterwards we'll do maybe do another little video just so you can... To show how it works, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Um, so you can see it. So as the bike moves through its travel, at the initial part of the stroke it, it travels up. It then there's a transition, a point where it, um, where it stops and then it moves down. So it comes up and then, yeah, translates and moves, moves down. So that means that at the start of the travel, the rear, the rear axle can move rearwards, mm -hmm. giving it a really good climbing, um, great anti-squat. But as you move through the travel, it just really means that it can give it like a nice bottom out, bottomless feel. Um, and it also means that they can tune the suspension to whichever model they've got. Gotcha. So Switch Infinity, whether it's 100 mil on this one or 150 mil on the SB6, the way it's essentially the same kind of you know the same suspension system so the same um, concept but same it's concept different execution different execution yeah, yeah. yeah. so the, the amount the uh, the carriage moves and yep. the you know the amount up and down can be tuned to really suit how they want the suspension to feel gotcha so yeah okay and uh, just for like the uh, for the people watching this who are interested in the new SB100 from Yeti um, let's fire off some some basics so what's the size range on here so we've got small medium large and XL uh-huh and you were saying before there's two frame options? Yes, so this is the T-Series uh -huh. uh, bike, which is the top That's wax the Torre carbon, the best carbon yep. yet you could find. Um, so we offer this in the frame only at 3299, mm -hmm. or the complete bike you see here, which is 6999. We also do a C-Series bike, which is uh, a slightly different carbon, um, same stiffness, um, it's just a couple of hundred grams heavier. Uh -huh. um, and that one comes in at 5999. And we also offer it in the Betty in the ladies version as well for women. Um, and again, we do that in the C series and in the um, T series. So two options for both the Yeti and the Betty. Yeah. Got it. So uh, yeah, and yeah, and frame only as well. So, and two colors. So we've got this raw, or we do it in the, the traditional Yeti turquoise as well. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Gotta have that. <laughs> Gotta have the turquoise. <laughs> and uh, when are these gonna be available? Um, frames are available today um, in the UK, uh -huh. um, and the bikes will be available at the end of the month. Right. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. so if you're excited by this, uh, yeah. the frames are available now and by the end of the month for the complete yeah, bikes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where should people go if they want more information? So they can go to our website, um, www.silverfish-uk.com, um, where you'll find a dealer listing, um, more, more details on it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you'll be able to go from there, go find your local dealer, mm -hmm. um, see when you know, demo events are out there and, and yeah. Have a look, so yeah. Cool, all right. Uh, Pete from Silverfish, thank you very much no for your worries. time. Thanks a lot. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed watching. This is the brand new SB100 from Yeti Cycles, uh, and uh, Pete's brought this up for us to check out. If you wanna have a look at some more photos and some more information, jump on singletrackworld.com. Um, and if you've got questions for Pete, drop them in the comment section below, and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Otherwise, we hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later. Tooroo. Cheers, thanks. <laughs>